Hello and welcome back. This is video number two, Curation Authority Sites versus Curation Strategies. Now, but my goal here is to show you that you have two different routes that you can take. You don't have to do both, or you could use both combined together. But the question that I want you to ask yourself in order to figure out, okay, do I need to just skip this video and the next video and go straight to the content strategies? or should I actually watch the next video? It's really up to you and really what you want to do in the end. And depending on what you wanna do, promote an affiliate product, promote your business, promote your product or service, or build a long-term authority site, you will need to figure out which route you want to take. So if you just wanna purely go after and just start getting traffic right this week, and next month, then I'd recommend that you go after the content creation strategies. If you want to wait a little bit and you, you know you you foresee the long term and you don't mind waiting a couple months until you actually start seeing results, then you can focus in on the authority building content creation sites. But if you do want to go down the route and build a large long term authority site, the question remains is how will you build your content creation authority site? I don't want you to build, you know, all these other sites, all these other people who are just simply grabbing tons of content, scraping information and that's it, because really that doesn't provide any value. I mean, while you may get some traffic to your site, on the side of conversions, you're not really gonna get a lot of conversions because people are gonna come to your site, they're gonna think to themselves, what kind of value am I going to get from the site when I can go to Google and get other information because you got to think about that a lot of people think only just about traffic and while that's great a lot of people forget about conversions and when people get to your site they don't convert and you don't make sales and that's what I want to cover today in this specific video and to get you into the right mindset because if you're gonna build an authority site you want to build something that Google, for example, other search engines would like because if they don't like it, you're not going to get good rankings. And typically, Google wants a site that adds value. If you add value, not only are you appeasing Google, but you're also appeasing the visitors and the viewers who are coming to your site. And that's what is most important is your visitors. So what I want to do now is just take a look at a few things to get your mindset right. So let's hop on to Google and YouTube and I want to show you a few things. So here is what I want you to do. I want you to go on to YouTube and up at the top in the search bar type in web space spam space content space violations. So web spam content violations and you'll be able to see a channel run by Google Webmasters and you'll see this guy with the Google t-shirt so what I want you to do is click on this and watch it now I'm not going to play it right now but this video basically backs up my claim in terms of you know Google wanting value I mean it makes sense in terms of the conversion sense but when it comes to Google if you watch this video you will see that this guy basically talks about how Google does not like these sites that basically just curate tons of content because really in the end that adds no value to your customers so if you have a chance pause this video go go ahead and do this and just watch it it's only about a minute and 47 seconds and I will say that this will change your mindset in terms of what's out there in what actually is going to work well in terms of getting your site ranked on Google and getting traffic and high quality traffic and getting conversions as well so what they basically say is don't be like everybody else please do not you know get these softwares and just content create tons of content every single day my recommendation is that it's okay to do this as long as you're adding some sort of value and Google will know this because they will know that the content on your site is not duplicate content and that they will see okay 
you have some of the stuff on your site, but you also have your own value. Now, there's a specific way of curating content when I'm going to show you the strategies. We're not actually going to necessarily take all the content. We're going to take snippets of content and use them like quotes. And we're going to kind of reword them a little bit, but we're going to respond to them in such a manner that it is angled towards getting somebody to take action where thereby selling your products, getting them to get on your lists or whatever action that you want them to take. So in essence, you're learning here, not just the technical, but you're also learning the conversion side of things and how to convert people into getting them to take actions. So we're kind of diving a little bit into traffic conversions and things like that. So take time to watch this video because it's really, really powerful and it can get you into the right mindset. If you don't watch this video and you jump right in, then you're not going to be in the right mindset. So make sure you please, please watch this video. So what I wanted to do now is to give you some examples of some sites that are curating content and they are doing it right by adding value. So I don't want you to get in the mindset that it's just all about responding because there are other ways of curating content creatively and thinking out of the box. So this strategy that I am teaching you in the five strategies are awesome, but they are not the only ones out there that work. There are a lot of other different strategies out there as well. So I'm not knocking the other strategies at all. But I am saying that you do have to be careful and do your due diligence in figuring out what is the gray line and what is plagiarism. Now, beatsmusic.com, going back to the site, is a music service curated by people who believe that music is emotion and joy, culture, and life. So that's really their motto. They emphasize that they are a music service curated by people. Now, the site basically allows you to sift through music and allows you to find music that is right for you. So in essence, they did not create the music. It was created by other people, but it's a site that allows you to find that particular content by other people. So in essence, you might be thinking, well, it's kind of like Google, right? Like a search engine. Yes and no. There, it's it's a little bit like that, but with a twist. Now, here's another site that I find that really, really matches the strategies is Upworthy.com. If you go to Upworthy, you'll find that a lot of it is news sites, but a lot of it is reactions to specific things that are happening in the world. Like, for example, Iraq situation in under five minutes or other things and reactions, agreements, disagreements to what is happening in the world. So this is great for, you know, news and reaction to news and what's happening to what is in the world. CMO.com is another great site that does this. So as you can see, it is laid out as a news site and it allows you to find these editors and, and people who are responding to what's happening out there on the internet or in the world and things like that. So in essence, content curation has been going on for decades and decades and decades. It's not some brand new thing, but it's just evolving over the years into different strategies and different methods. But it's it's been out there, but you can use it to your advantage. So this is a great way, as you can see, you can create a site, like a news site, you can report on what's happening out on the news and things like that. And you can get creative with it. So this particular layout could easily sell, you know, free advertising or paid advertising and other business models in that area. But that's that, and I just wanted to show you some examples. And if you want to go down this route, you'll want to watch the next video. If you want to just skip this route and go straight to being able to using these content creation strategies right away to get some results immediately and post your 
content creator responses on other sites besides Google and not be reliant on Google, then you'll want to skip the next video and just go straight to the content strategies.